Hello everyone! So today's video is going to be kind of like a chatty video just to update you on some different things and talk about the really big obvious thing that um, has sort of started to become a topic on this channel which is regarding gender and all of that stuff but I do also have some other things that I just want to update you on for the future I guess just so that you're in the loop and everything. I actually had already filmed this video and it took me like half an hour to film it all and then my memory card got wiped, um, which is so annoying because I had like other stuff on there that was really important that I can't like get back or refilm. I made this video the first day that I started tea and it was like meant to be a memorable thing to look back on and it's deleted so I'm gonna try to get all of that um, like recovered. There's this place that you can go to in the city I think where they like do data recovery for um, they're called SD cards. <laughs> they do data recovery for SD cards so I'm hopeful that I can get all of that back. I just want to refilm this video in particular because if I were to wait it would take ages to get the old one back so that's why we're all gathered here today for this. <laughs> so in the old video I like went over all this stuff about all this technology trouble that I was having which is why I had that little break again from YouTube that was like a couple months but I feel like because I've already been back for a little bit now it's kind of pointless going through all of that so I'm not going to but yeah if you wanted where I was it was because of a mountain of tech issues that was happening and um, I won't bore you with the details of all of that but in case you were wondering where I was that's <laughs> that's the story. I guess I'll get on to the really like obvious thing now which is that I've been meaning to talk to you more about like my gender and transitioning and all of that stuff. So yeah, as I'm sure you know by now, I'm transgender and I identify as non-binary. If you were to like be more specific about it, I would kind of class myself as like demi-boy. I feel like part of my identity is like either like partly a boy or something like a boy. So I just say like transmasculine, non-binary. But there's other parts of my identity that don't feel like a boy or a girl, but also isn't a gender. It's just like its own... Thing, and it's like really hard to explain a lot of it is because it's like a feeling I guess and I used to identify as gender fluid um, which is still like under the non-binary umbrella but I just don't really resonate with that title anymore for myself personally because it's complicated but the days where I sort of was more femme I guess I really felt like I was forcing myself into that and it didn't actually feel comfortable I'm not gonna get into it on here but yeah, I don't identify as gender fluid anymore, so just so you know. But that's of course not to like invalidate anyone else's experience of being gender fluid because it's still like a totally like legit <laughs> gender identity and everything. It's just that it didn't completely fit me. So I guess I wanted to talk more about going on tea because I know that video that I put up like the one month on tea update was kind of sudden. It like came out of nowhere because this video that I'm filming now was meant to go up first so that like you would have some context to all of this but because of the memory card issue that didn't happen um, and I didn't want to leave it too long so I guess I have been wanting to go on testosterone for like 10 years, um, <laughs> quite a while but even though I wanted it I felt like I couldn't let myself want it and it took like a really long time to finally like break through that and admit to myself that I actually really really needed this and I was having like a lot of problems from not transitioning so yeah this is kind of like become I don't know like the only option like this I have to do this for myself. My goals for testosterone are Obviously I want a deeper voice, um, which is very very slowly starting, which I'm happy about. I want more like body hair, um, I kind of, I'm undecided about facial hair to be honest, like I like how it looks on a lot of people, but I feel like if I didn't like it, it would be a really big commitment to like shave it every day. And like even when you shave it, there's still often like a certain look that it has, like it seems stubble and stuff and I just don't know like I don't know, how would that look on me? Would I like it? Would I hate it? I don't know. I think even if I do end up getting facial hair, like, it's alright, I can deal with it. Um, I think it'll be worth it, because this really is, like, what I need. Yeah, and I think, like, if I'm gonna have dysphoria either way, then I may as well 
go on tea and have some of the stuff that I want, you know what I mean? So, and what else? I kind of like to have a bit more muscle and stuff. I know that's something that I'm gonna need to work on, like it doesn't just appear generally, like it does to a certain extent on some people, but I need to do like some weight training or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's do a recap. So, the goals that I want from testosterone is I want a deeper voice, I want some more body hair, kind of undecided about facial hair, I think I want it but I can't say for sure, to be honest. Um, we'll see when it happens, I suppose. I really like one in Adam's apple, but obviously that's part of having a deep voice, but I've always wanted an Adam's apple, so that will be cool. I want a flatter chest, which I know can happen with testosterone, so I'm really looking forward to that hopefully happening. I'd like to have more of like a, how do I explain this? I don't want an hourglass figure is what I'm trying to say. And I know that tea can sometimes change that for people, not always, so we'll see if it works for me or not, but yeah, so that my body is more like that versus like that. Just all of it, like anytime I see a new change, I get so excited. I've already been having like a few more changes since my one month on tea update. So that's been really cool and I'm excited to do the two month one. And me going on tea means that I can also hopefully make videos more often because a really big part of like why I I uploaded so infrequently was because of dysphoria because like going back and editing videos just made me feel so horrible like listening to how high my voice was and still kind of is but it's a little better which I'm grateful for but yeah like hearing the sound of my own voice and like the softness of my face and stuff I don't know just all of it it was just like really hard to like get through the dysphoria to film and edit like often enough yeah but even now like I feel a lot more motivated to make stuff more often and like I've really enjoyed being back and like reconnecting with all of you and making some new friends and stuff it's been really cool so I'm happy with, with where things are going and what it means for like other areas of my life as well I hope all of that made sense I feel like that was like really rambly it was a bit of an info dump but <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I also want to mention that like I think I socially transitioned about a year or two ago I think. can't really remember but I also changed my name around that time as well. So if you didn't know already I now go by Corvin. So that's C-O-R-V-I-N. That's due to my love of corvids and ravens and crows and stuff. I know it's a bit cliche but I, I really like it as a name for myself. I feel like I should mention like really obvious but my pronouns. My pronouns are he, they and I prefer they, them. Usually he, him is like my, my backup pronouns I guess but I also don't mind if you call me that regularly. Like if you want to refer to me as he, him then like go for it. I don't really care. <laughs> but most, most people like use they them for me. So back to like talking about names, I also just wanted to update you about a few name changes on social media. They happened a while ago but some I think are probably gonna happen like in the future probably kind of soonish. So my like art and oddities Instagram I changed the username to the.ravens.hour and then my Etsy is the Ravens Hour, all one word. So I wanted to change like my art name on everything because I thought it was like better than having it as like my name name that I call myself because I thought like if I ever happen to want to change my name again in the future um I won't have to like change my art name again it can stay the same so that was like my thinking behind all of that was keeping the art name separate from like what I call myself and I will probably make another video about why I chose the name The Raven's Hour and then also on my other Instagram my personal one which the username is Captain Trumacle. I can't remember if there's like a dot or a hyphen in there but yeah. Then like the name that goes underneath that that isn't the username but just like your name is Corvin sometimes and I've really like warmed up to that a lot so I'm thinking that I might make that my name on like all social media including YouTube except for my art things because they'll stay the Raven's Hour. But just to like quickly explain my thinking behind Corvin sometimes. So I'm sure you know of like the song by The Cure called Charlotte Sometimes and that is also based off of a book which I'm sure you also already know. I read that book Charlotte Sometimes by Penelope Farmer. I read it like, I don't know, a couple years ago and I absolutely love it so much. I think it's like right up there with Coraline to be honest and you guys know how much I love Coraline. If you didn't know, 
much about like the plot of Charlotte sometimes. It's spoiler alert by the way in case you want to read it and you don't want to know any of this because it's a bit of a spoiler but um it's a bit like a time travel book. A girl goes to a boarding school and she's new there and like she picks this particular bed to sleep in and she goes to sleep and then overnight she's like back in the same school but she's back in a different time period and everyone thinks that she's this different girl from that time period that would usually sleep in that bed and so it's like the two girls kind of swap places and swap like time periods and they have to pretend to be each other for the day. I think it's like that every night they swap over so they also swap back and stuff. So the reason why I'm telling you the plot of Charlotte sometimes is because I'm sort of trying to convey how I resonate with the storyline and I guess the whole thing of like people assuming that Charlotte is actually, oh gosh, what's her name, the person she gets swapped with? Anyway, people just like assuming that Charlotte is someone else when she isn't and that she's expected to like play that role that everyone assumes that she is. I really, I really resonate with that a lot and I'm sure that that's like obvious why that would be, like things like dead naming and misgendering and that's why I chose that as my name and it kind of is like, a bit of a way of coping with all of that like if I get misgendered or called the wrong name I can just like pretend that it's because I accidentally slipped into a different time period and everyone thinks that I'm someone else <laughs> um, and it's worked well so far so yeah but um, aside from that I also have just like really enjoyed that name because I really enjoyed the book in general and the song's great too but I'm pretty crazy about the book so I think I will probably end up changing my channel name to Corvin sometimes as well because I just really am not like feeling it anymore with Raven of the Woods. Raven was a channel name that I picked out when I was like 17 and that was when YouTube was still like only allowing unique usernames instead of just letting people have whatever name they wanted so that's why it had like the funky spelling with the H and the Y and stuff in there. I think people like have a bit of trouble spelling it so then they put it in the search bar and then they can't find me because of the funky spelling and stuff so I just want to like also make it easier for people and yeah I want to like have a name that I really feel fits me better so yeah if that channel name change happens then I just wanted you to like know in advance and I will probably make a video when I change my channel name just to like announce it so that everyone knows and stuff and people aren't confused. I've got so many different usernames and I think it makes it hard for people to find me so yeah that's that's my thinking behind that. I'm gonna change everything to Corvin sometimes except for the Raven's Hour just to simplify that because I was all over the place. <laughs> the last thing I want to say related to like gender transition and stuff is just a really small detail but I have Think one video left to upload that is that is pre-T. I don't know when it's going up because I need to see if I can get this SD card memory recovered because part of the video is on that and part of it isn't and I really don't want to refilm that part of the video because it's really annoying <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah I don't know when that will be but just so you know <laughs> it, it'll happen at some point. Lastly I just want to let you know about a few other video things that are happening so I definitely plan on doing an oddities related video next because I know you guys have been really very patiently waiting for that so I do plan to do the oddities Q&A next hopefully or the oddities update. If you didn't know I am doing an oddities Q&A so um, if you want to ask anything for that you still can since I haven't filmed it yet. If you go over to my community tab and scroll down you'll find an image of I think it's like a bobcat skull and it says in big letters oddities Q&A and you put your questions in the comments of that post or you can just like DM me on Instagram and let me know your question and I will answer it in an upcoming video and on that note I was also wondering if you guys wanted to see like a more general Q&A from me at all like just not oddities related just I don't know anything you want because I did get like a couple of questions in the oddities Q&A that I thought would like probably work better in a more general Q&A so yeah let me know if that's something you would be interested in seeing. <laughs> also I am planning to recreate some of my older videos like stuff that I filmed 
on webcam and stuff that are just so many years old, like 10 years old, so it's all like on this one channel, so if you see any repeats of topics that I've talked about before, that's why, but you probably, you probably won't notice that unless you've been around for a really long time, which I know some of you guys have, which is really cool. But I think that is everything that I have to update you on, so thank you for sitting tight through this video, I'm sure it was like very long. Um, I think I've filmed 26 minutes of me just rambling, so hopefully something coherent comes out of this and I don't accidentally delete the video because I do not want to film this a third time. <laughs> that would suck. Yeah, but that is everything that I have to update you on. Again, feel free to submit those oddity related questions if you want to. Also, please excuse my makeup, which I'm now going to show you very closely, but um... I was trying to like do something to match my shirt but I'm not used to like my new liquid liner because it's really runny and the flowers look really blobby so I added bats and I don't know it's a bit of a mess so try to ignore that even though I just showed it to you up close. <laughs> yeah but that is everything so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.